Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is a Q and A part three. Um, you know, it's something I promise that it's going to be consistent because there are so many questions that come up in the comment section, and unfortunately, I can't really give the whole answers. Oh yeah, a full answer in the comment section. You know, there are sometimes a write up without proper explanation could be a little bit complicated all right if you're seeing this face for the first time my name is asma zakari and i'm a potter called base youtuber please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos thank you so much thank you so much new subscribers welcome 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 returning subscribers you guys know now you're the real deal right all right as usual i like to write my questions yeah i like to write them down and then read them as well and then explain all right this first question is from the sister auntie shola hello dnv vlogs live tv okay it was on the video where i made them um, face wash henna face wash yeah she was like will using over time stain face i asked because henna stains yeah and shola asked that question perfect of course um henna has a staining effect but then if manipulated otherwise the staining effect to reduce and by the way it is usually used at a very little percentage maybe three to five percent it's just like let me give you an example it's just like palm oil we use palm oil in soap making as staining as palm oil is but we still use it as a conditioning oil in soap making but at just five percent now um less than five percent the staining effect is not relevant but more than that the same effect is relevant so also applies to henna besides um brewing the henna has kind of you know introducing heat to it <laughs> you know understand it's like i've cooked it you know so the staining effect definitely 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 will reduce thank you so much dnb blog thank you so much auntie shola for that question all right the next question is from happiness daily she said uh -huh. is titanium oxide the same with zinc oxide now this question was a question that i actually even answered but she still came back with the question now basically um happiness titanium oxide and zinc oxide are not the same but they function the same this is what i mean titanium oxide and zinc oxide are both mineral sunscreens do you now understand when i said they function the same but they are not the same it's just like talking of mint oil and peppermint oil they serve the same purposes but they are not the same so basically zinc oxide is different titanium oxide is different but one thing they share in common is the fact that they are both mineral sunscreen so you can interchange them but me personally i prefer working with titanium oxide yes personally i prefer working with titanium oxide than zinc oxide because not all skin types um sometimes agree with zinc oxide so titanium oxide has lesser complaints or lesser resistance so i prefer to work with um titanium oxide i hope i've answered that question happiness daily all right kimi Potter boutique she asked do you sell wholesale yes kimi i sell wholesale yeah i sell wholesale okay in the uh, description box please i'm going to drop the link of uh, my instagram page just follow me on instagram or send a dm on instagram i promise you i'm going to um reply then we could talk about the modalities on what wholesale product you want of course that is why i'm here for you to help you ease your formulation stress <laughs> all right the next question is from zakia abdullahi all right sis zakia she said how can i order your products for my face to us please all right um to be honest with you you know um if there's something that we kind of battle with here is logistics because yeah especially when it's going outside the country yes it's kind of very very expensive i've had a lot of orders coming from outside the country but the moment i tell them about um the way beef feel uh yeah the way beef is it becomes a ton of do you understand so i kind of tell you on time yes i can send to you any part of the world but the thing is the delivery fee you understand and um one of the most reliable of course notable and um popular um logistics company here we use i personally use is a dhl you understand it's very very credible of course most people know about it but the only thing is that you know now my sister so yeah i can actually send it to you but just have at the back of your mind that the way bill can be a little bit um high all right the next question is from ogechi obia she said where do you buy your equipment please 
was scammed by an online vendor oh okay she i actually even said sorry in the comment section i'm so sorry sorry about that i wonder why people come online and want to scam other people i'm sorry about that okay i'll drop in my description box okay the link of where i buy my equipment she's a vendor just in abuja and the good thing is okay she said she's in uh, nigeria yeah so which is even better you understand which is even easier and much reliable so i'm going to drop the link of the shop is um hard job um raw materials yeah on youtube organic raw materials i'll drop the link of her um, instagram she would always reply she has her numbers everywhere so you could even pick the number on her page on her yeah and then call her or send her a whatsapp or just send her a dm she'll reply you very very reliable i can beat my chest on that one and tell you she's very very reliable don't bother okay okay you and sorry again once again for being scammed mm -hmm. Now the next question is from Olivia A. Adeni. She said, "Can I use the body butters only in place of e wax and the lights?" <laughs> Sister, me, no, no. E wax is called emulsifying wax, and what does emulsifying wax does? You and I know in 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 in, in, in inception that oil and water does not blend. Definitely, when you put oil and water in the same place, the oil is going to be above the water the water is going to be beneath you understand the oil is going to be above but then introducing something like the emulsifying wax we bind the oil and water together one and now it's going to give you that creamy consistency by the time you you <laughs> when you even go to use butters i don't know which one you intend to use maybe she butter avocado butter mango butter any of the butters you choose to use my sister you cannot even use water the moment you use water you spoil everything so you cannot substitute the ewas and the likes now in that a video is my cream based video in that video there's the use of the ewas there's the use of the steric acid there's the use of the acetyl alcohol my dear um olivia each of these um, ingredients have their use in that your formulation yes the ewas is going to bind the oil and water together and give you that creamy consistency the steric acid is going to help you as a thickener the acetyl alcohol is going to help with um lesser um time you know uh, it, it basically is going to help with the quicker um penetration of your product i don't even know what i'm trying to say to you here yes so um sister me you cannot replace Ewaxes and the likes with body butter. These are they are on two different levels. In fact, um, Olivia, if you take note, the, the even even from their physical appearances, the Ewax, the steric and the likes are completely different in appearance with your body butters. So by the time you go and put body butters inside that thing, trust me, you are not going to get a cream. Instead, if you want to just do your body butter, then forget about making a cream. Rather, you're making butters. You understand? So now you can combine good, good butters, a ham, she butter, avocado butter, mango, whatever butter you choose to touch, and then you can mix it with some other oils. In that case, you don't even need preservative. You don't even need water. Yeah, basically your butters, and then maybe a little bit of selection of oils. You could actually introduce essential oils if you want to. Now, making um, body butters is completely on a different level from making body cream. I hope I have answered your question correctly. All right, there's a question. I I didn't put it here. But I think it was in my head. I don't know how comes I didn't even write it down. Um, someone was asking me on the video I made um toner, face toner. Um, and she was asking me e um the shelf life. Yes, I'm sorry, I can't remember. But the question just came. You know, when you read comments, sometimes they stick in your head, and you know, so it kept ringing. And so, um, sister, I'm sorry, I don't know your name now. Um shelf life depending on the kind of preservative you're using now like in that video i use jama plus and jama plus is a broad spectrum like it's an active um preservative basically it could last when you put it in the right percentage exactly um it could last in your product for right percentage right um what do they call it um right condition for jama plus to be active when you put it it's going to last you it's going to have a shelf life of close to two to three years yes at least max three years yeah thereabouts it's going to have when you use phenol the ethanol it also has a good shelf life um a, a preservative like optifen now does not it's not as you know or you know i have a video where i spoke about preservative i'm going to link it in the description box my sister go watch it and then you will understand what i'm trying to say here basically i cannot tell you the shelf life of your own products 
but I can tell you the shelf life of my own product. Well, the shelf life of your products and my, my products might be alike if we use the same kind of um preservative so if in your formulation you also use jama plus then your shelf life could go by two to three years thereabouts yes if you use you know the ethanol the same thing as well but please avoid using <laughs> formaldehyde i have a video where i spoke about ingredients you should avoid you understand so um using good natural preservatives like that could actually make your product last a while so i hope you enjoy this q and a it's something that i promise to keep coming up with time to time the moment i see um, a good number of questions that I can come and sit and answer I promise you I will answer so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video thank you so much thank you so much and see you in another video bye